So you can actually look at examples prior to the discovery of insulin of kids who would, frankly, their body was doing just that. It was wasting away. So their fat tissue, their muscle tissue would all just completely catabolize because insulin is what shuts down that catabolic process. That's why it's such a powerful fat storage hormone that most people and probably most people on your channel think, okay, insulin, it, it drives uh, fat accumulation and, and can make me, you know, gain weight and, and become fat. And that's true, but it's all about the balancing act, right? So the complete absence of it is pathological and can be deadly within hours to days. The overabundance of it can drive pathological disease over a period of years. And so it's it's really the, the key aspect of balancing that. And a lot of people focus on, you know, kids when before the discovery of insulin. Insulin was discovered in the early 1920s. It was a, one of the biggest discoveries just in medicine. It led to a Nobel Prize. And insulin, it actually in itself, was associated with, I think, three or four different Nobel Prizes. And so it's very important. It has a very important impact. But yes, if I don't take insulin right now, or like on the back of my arm, I have an insulin pump right here that administers insulin over time. Um, that's actually what in part that alarm is, is the detection of changes in glucose levels to a certain threshold.